However, as President Obama signed the executive order lifting limits on the research, among the witnesses, Colorado Representative Diana DeGette. She joins me live from the White House. And Congresswoman, I hope I, that I mangled your name this time. Did I'm I do, sorry? Was it, was it better? Did I pronounce your name better this time? Yes, you, <laughs> yes, you pronounced it better this so, time. So before this moment, I've been in the company with the president and mispronouncing your name. Is that correct? Exactly. <laughs> yes, right. you and the president. But I think, I think you got it right the next time. One of the time. rare occasions when I'll be sharing company with the president. It's good to have you uh, on the program today. Uh, as you heard just a moment ago, um, a powerful support from the former first lady for this decision from the president today to sign this executive order. Your thoughts um, as this process unfolded and being in the room today? Well, I, I think it's a great day for science and I think it's a great day for research. Expanding what kinds of uh, ethical cell-based research can be done is so important to finding the cures for diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and nerve regeneration and diabetes. It's very exciting for the patients of America. Well, I have to ask you a question. We just had Representative Chris Smith, one of your colleagues, who was on just a moment ago, who said, uh, among other things, that this research is unnecessary and dated. How would you respond to that? Well, he's, he's not correct. All the researchers tell us embryonic stem cell research is still very, very important. We've had some exciting new discoveries in the last few years of other types of cell-based research. And I'm as excited about them as I am the embryonic stem cell research. But really, policymakers are not the ones to be making decisions telling scientists what type of research will find the cures. Instead, it's our job to, to really support all ethical types of cell-based research. And that's what the president reaffirmed today. Well, Congresswoman, let me ask you the question I've been asking all of our guests this morning. Uh, what is the sort of moral status of these embryos? Are we talking about life or potential life? What we need to remember, these are embryos which are created to give life. They're created for in vitro fertilization techniques. And then they're the embryos that are left over. These embryos are thrown away as medical waste. And so uh, what we do with our bill and what the president did today is we allow the embryos to be donated by the couples they were created for to, to be used for research. Many pro-life advocates say this is the ultimate pro-life decision to hmm. take something created to give life through IVF which is slated to be thrown away and then to allow them to be donated so that they can help cure diseases and save I'm, millions of more lives. Uh, forgive me, I'm going to ask it uh, once again. Life or potential life? I, that's, that's above my pay grade. <laughs> Very nice. Congresswoman, we, we understand you're getting battered by 40 mile per hour winds. We thank you for your time. That, thank that's you. all right. It's all part of the job. Take care. All right. Take care. Uh, U.S. troops getting out of Iraq.